Good morning. Uh, I was recently thinking about an email someone wrote me. Uh, she said basically that, you know, she was on lesson 135 with A Course in Miracles, and she was going into it, and there was this uh, line that says, you know, a healed mind does not plan. And she was confused and challenged by this because, you know, other teachings tell you, you know, set goals, you know, go after what you want in life. And, um, you know, law of attraction, visualize what you want, go for it. And so she felt really conflicted between this idea of goal setting and everything she, she wants and, you know, seeks in life. And A Course in Miracles saying, you know, well, a healed mind does not plan. And so I thought about it and what I was really landed with is this idea that it's not so much that we don't have plans in life, right? That comes up. If you want to get on a trip to go across the country, right, you're not going to show up at the very last minute and go buy a flight because it's going to be very expensive, possibly prohibited. So prohibitive, sorry. So what is this solution to um, the life that we live where we have work, we have uh, kids, perhaps. We have places that we need to go or want to go. And this other side of our life of living in the present moment. And what does that mean? And how can we, as A Course in Miracles say, live a life where we're not, you know, planning? And A Course in Miracles goes on to say that it's not so much that we don't have plans. It's that the plans originate from somewhere else. You know, when we have our idea about what a plan should be. We're not living in the present moment. We're living in the future about an idea of how life should go. And that's not listening to spirit. That's not listening to God, the divine, the universe. That's just following our own ego's desires. So when we actually land in the present moment, we are able to be quiet enough to listen to that guidance that we receive, the intuition God's voice of where it is we do need to go, what it is we should need to do. And as we take steps in that direction, more is revealed to us. You know, how many times have we gone through life, you know, uh, one, three, five, ten years down the road, and then suddenly realized that everything that had been done was for our highest good, right? Was for us. You know, I remember when I went into the corporate world, uh, I learned all these skills as a software tester, software design, technical product manager, all this stuff. Then I left to become an entrepreneur. And so many times I look back and said, wow, I'm designing something to help people. I'm listening to people to find out what they need so I can create something or share something that means something, right? That whole experience reminded me that everything that had happened to me led me to that moment, to this moment, so that I could be used for the the will of the good, whatever that highest good happens to be. So yes, there are times where uh, it feels like we are planning. And when we are quiet enough to listen to that inner voice, then we know what the plans are that we are to move forward with right? And, and we realize that our will is the same will of God's. We just happen to be, you know, a, a wave in the ocean, you know, that is carrying that out, that is, is taking that motion. So, you know, it, it's easy to take a line like, you know, a healed mind does not plan out of context and think that means that there is no plans that ever happen and that we never execute a plan. And that's not true at all. What it means is that we just pause, we stop, we actually listen to what is here in this moment and allow that to teach us, to lead us, to inspire us, to move us in the direction that we are most needing to go. You know, today I did not plan on doing a video with you, right? I did bring my selfie stick, right? In the moment I thought, hey, I should bring this. I don't know if I'm going to do a video or not. And if I do, I don't know what I'm gonna do one about. And as I walked, you know, as I reflected, as I was present, this is what came up for me. And so I decided I would share that with you. And I hope that in your life, this is supportive. You know, Eckhart Tolle talks about the difference between chronological time and psychological time, right? Chronological time is the time that is happening because it simply happens. It moves forward as part of us being human. We measure that with a clock, right? But effectively, it just means that Whatever happened is not here now. Whatever will happen will happen is not here now. That's the chronological time that Eckhart speaks of. 
Psychological time is when we get stuck in that past or stuck in that future, when we suddenly are planning about the future or planning about the past in a way that we're not present with it. You know, if you have a trip to take, by all means, buy your plane ticket, but don't be fantasizing about the whole trip, right? Just buy your ticket. Be here right now while you're feeling it. You know, feel the sensation of your hands typing on the keyboard or picking up the phone or however it is that you're making that reservation. Feel yourself in the moment, okay? Sense the the breath in your belly, okay? And if you're feeling delighted and excited about this future trip, feel the delight and excitement without projecting yourself onto the beach, into the yummy food you'll be eating or the adventures you'll be having. Remember just to stay in the present moment even while you are planning. And when you do that, when you're fully in the present moment, that's when we can listen to that guidance we're having. That's when we can actually make the plans that are, you know, in our highest good that are most intended for us and those around us. I hope this helps you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care.